Hi, good morning. I'm uh, Dr. Matt Herman. I'm coming from Loyola University in Chicago. Um, I want to tell you about my case. Um, so this was a 19-year-old gentleman um, who got transferred to Loyola from an outside hospital for several weeks of fevers. So that was the reason that our rheumatology service was consulted. Um, when he arrived uh, at Loyola, he was having high spiking fevers in the evenings, um, had a little bit of an erythematous rash on his right flank, um, and also was having significant myalgias, um, and he also had an enlarged right axillary lymph node. Um, so um, infectious disease and hematology oncology had also been consulted, um, and in the absence of um, any um, oncologic or um, infectious disease diagnosis, um, we thought that this patient uh, was presenting with adult onset stills disease. Um, the reason we had thought that is because the ferritin levels were markedly elevated, over 6,000, um, white blood cell count was almost 40,000, um, and inflammatory markers were markedly elevated as well. Um, Several days after um, starting him on steroids, though, for treatment of uh, Stills disease, um, you can see here on this um, chart on the uh, right-hand side of the poster that um, the numbers really weren't getting um, that better. The platelets um, had gone up to um, uh, over a million at one point. Um, Luckily, our infectious disease colleagues had sent off a rickettsial antibody panel, which came back positive for Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Um, so as soon as we started the patient on doxycycline, um, we saw a pretty dramatic improvement um, in his numbers, and we were able to taper his prednisone. Um, so I think the um, really important takeaways from this case are twofold. So I think the first is that um, although it's unusual, um, we do see Rocky Mountain spotted fever in the Midwest. Um, the vector is the dog tick, um, which um, is endemic um, in the Midwest Midwestern United States. Um, we thought this patient probably had gotten a tick transferred to him by one of his dogs um, at home. He had two. Um, the other really important takeaway um, from this case um, is that a really high index of suspicion needs to be had for infectious causes of um, these types of laboratory abnormalities and the physical exam findings, particularly if the patient is uh, not responding to immunosuppressive therapy as you would expect. So um, thank you. If you want to check out more, um, you can check out the website 